Now this may look like your ordinary village, but it's not. Sure, it has everything a normal one does, a cathedral, blacksmith, even an exploitable workforce, but you see what makes this one special is it spawned right next to this patch of sand. Oh, and it flies! Now this all goes back to one special evening, I was just vibing in a VC one night and Rec Rap mentions this. I'm basically doing a collab with Boosfer. We're basically having an airship battle with this mod. We have a week to, to prepare all the resources and build it in survival, and then we're gonna fight on two airships. I'm sold. I need to be in this. See, Red Grip doesn't know this, but I may or may not be obsessed with airships to the extent I've experimented and studied advanced aerodynamics just to make stupid contraptions in Minecraft. Don't judge me, it's a it's a it's a hyperfixation, okay? Regardless, I showed Rex some of my creations and <laughs> whether it was in awe or out of pettiness for the hours I've sunken into this mod, Wreck agreed to let me in, but under one condition. Boosfer cannot find out. If he does, then I'm done and kicked off and Wreck would get in trouble because of me and that, that that's a lasting out one. Since Boosfer is coordinating this and has access to console logs, it would be a bit odd if, you know, Radoon's randomly logged on. But maybe, just maybe, he could be convinced if it was Wreckrap's alt account instead. Introducing Oatmeal Man, a Quaker Roads ambassador and a father of six. Yes, I, I may or may not have actually spent $30 on this, but will it work? Could it really be this simple to infiltrate a famous popular YouTuber's collaboration. Oh my god, it is. Wreck, I'm in. Yeah, dude, I we saw did it. Oatmeal Man. <laughs> Oatmeal Man's in the game. All right, I'm at uh, the spawn. Shoot, okay, let me see if I can come over. I'm like looking for a red skin, but it's gonna be an oatmeal, dude. Yeah, yeah, see the red the red man, that is not me. I have acquired a new identity. Mm -hmm. I am now under the um, alias of Oatmeal Man. Do you want an elytra? That's an option? Wait, hold on. Yes, yes, of course. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, of course I want that. Hold on. There wait, 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 there you are. Yo! Okay, um... You have a shulker? Oh, that's the wrong one. Take your pick. Uh, what? Bro, what? You can take anything, I think. Yeah. Can I, like, grab, uh, like, one of the pickaxes? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent, dude. I have five. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> grab two if you want. Uh, uh, okay. I mean, if you insist. Hold on. <laughs> He's already stacked out the wall, dude. <laughs> 13 minutes into playing, and I'm rich. You can take that. Oh. <gasps> Some of those. I think that's all you need to get started. That is that is all I need. Oh my god, Rec, thank you so much. I will come back in like a day or two with like, you know, a machination worthy of, you know, okay, destruction. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Just be Remember. uh careful when Booster logs on. If he logs on and you're on at the same time, I mean say you're my oh, alt snap. to begin with. Yeah, but... yeah, I'll just say I'm your alt. I gotta make a quick little like balloon plane thing to get out of here. Alright, Rec. Bro, this is so slow. Is this how you've been traveling? Why is this so uh, slow? Yep. Pretty much. See you, Rick. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. It always, like, super quickly. What? See you, Rick. I'm ascending. <laughs> All right. So, I just realized something. Boosfer and Rick are meeting up in, like, two days from now to have their battle. That gives us approximately 24 hours to get ready. That's not a lot of time to build an airship. Luckily, though, airship building is actually pretty straightforward. Allow me to elaborate. Here's a balloon. Here is a steering wheel. Together, you fly. And if you add an engine, then you go at mock speed. And that's about it. Three basic components, and we'll have a full functional airship and we already have a wheel and a few balloons but for my plans that's not gonna be sufficient we're gonna need more than this for balloons all we need is wool and I, I don't know how or why but for some reason there's sheep literally everywhere I'm gonna be honest Rec I don't actually think uh sheep farm is necessary whatsoever really just because you you don't need a ton well no it's more that i don't know what boost for did but sheep spots are through the roof i'm just like walking through the fort dude look at this dude, no i feel that what the <laughs> heck what it, like, why are there so many sheep i think i missed something in biology but i do not remember sheep being native to swamp biomes all right that should be pretty good for now for the other stuff though we probably want to set up camp somewhere Speaking of which, there's actually a village right over there. All right, I'm taking over ownership of this small compound in the village. I, I, I am sure the locals don't mind. Wait, do you get that many balloons from just four wool? Um, I, I guess balloons aren't going to be a problem anymore. I guess all that's left is the engine then. And for that, we're going to need some iron. Can I kill this golem without having to build up? Uh, uh. Fight it, head on! Uh. Head on, Rudu! Uh. Don't back down! <laughs> I think I should back it down. Wait, hold on. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Come on, brothers! Got him! He's distracted! He's not distracted! I repeat, he's after me! Get the final shot! With the power of God, an enemy on my side. I'll strike you down! Oh, hello. What's the rent in this place? 
Uh, I mean, my, my roomie and I were kind of splitting the place. Unfortunately, he got the bed, but I got like the other half. <laughs> you lay on the crafting table? Yeah. Or Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Only the best like in California living situation. conditions. <laughs> Bro, I am proving all those like smallest base sizes wrong right now. Look at this. I'm, I made a one by three work. Can Dude, your favorite redstone? Like yeah, cool I was about right now. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Wait, what were we doing? No, oh, right, the engine. Oh, your roomie's back. Oh, uh, hello. See, even he's Long making the one work. by three work. <laughs> Listen, it ain't easy. He's a freelance writer. You know, like. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, gotta... <laughs> okay. Let, me, let me tell you about my manifesto coming up. Hold on. So, there is one thing. The problem is that this is like kind of the connected to the ground so um the other part is that valkyrie in skies anything that's naturally placed typically cannot be uh elevated you have like, to assemble. like replace I'd have every to... single oh yeah should i completely just rebuild the house and turn <laughs> this into my floating is that is now? that even a question <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm doing it if you roll up to wreck yeah it would be really That'd be funny. very funny <laughs> So what I think I'm gonna do is just completely rebuild the house next to the house. You're gonna leave your roommate behind. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta bring him with me. <laughs> we gotta get him in there. I gotta bring the roomie with me. What is your roommate's name? Uh, Philbert. Okay, while I'm building, remember how I plopped down that steering wheel in the house earlier? Yeah, so how, how this mod works is that anything attached to that said steering wheel is automatically turned into an airship. Meaning, without realizing it, I accidentally turned the entire village into an airship. Complete side note, did you know that airships apparently also mess up mob AI? I'm literally the Wait, old man. What? 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 What was that? that? Just... Sir, are you all right? I'm like very curious about what that man did, and I don't want to let him out of my eyes, like his sight. But at the same time, I need to make this airship kind of work. Oh, he spent. Oh, he's, bro, he's doing bro, the spin. Bro, bro, he's on the <laughs> What is happening? Hold on, Philbert. Philbert, watch <laughs> out! Get over here. Uh. What's the Do day? your job. Okay, anyways, we could sleep now. I'm really hoping Philbert did not die. I feel like he's gonna become a zombie by morning. Philbert. Philbert was the farmer. I don't know where he went. Is that Philbert? Philbert is whichever one you lay your eyes on, okay? See, I on one yeah. hand, I wish you could use a lead on villagers. On the other hand, I think about the moral implications of that. What? what <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Okay, I, I gotta get out of here fast. Oh, why is making an airship so hard? First things first, I should probably check that this actually flies. All right, well, let's see here. Let's see, did it work? <gasps> Wait, why is it not? Wait, oh my God, it's so slow. Wait, it's working. It's just like super slow. Wait. Oh, 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 it's moving. Oh, oh, it's it's oh, crashing. Oh, oh, what's oh, happening? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, guys. <laughs> you got a bit of a problem there, bud. This is kind of a problem. No, I don't see any problem with this. I'm going to say it, guys. I don't think it's working. Are you okay, Filbert? Filbert's stuck. stuck. Get out. Be free. Come on, Filbert. Get out. Please. I'm sorry I crushed you with a house. Get out of here, Filbert. Dude, he just won't leave. Oh, God. This, this somber rain as well. I'm sorry, Filbert. I didn't mean it. Is this is becoming a f***ing up house at this point. Honestly, we may have to actually like do the up system of like adding a bunch of balloons. Can we can we just do that to make it look prettier? Make sure I mean, it works first. If I break this. Like ah, it identifies that it is like a... Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go with the backup plan, unfortunately. Wait, hold on. There's something weird going on here. It was about now I realized that I, I turned the entire village into an airship, corrupting literally everything. You can tell because when, when you're shifting, if you can't move on the blocks, it's part of the airship. By this point, I'd spend the best of an hour and 20 trying to figure this out if i spend any more time fixing this mistake it could jeopardize the entire mission i uh, definitely wasn't lazy enough to just travel 100 blocks away to build the house block for block so nobody could tell definitely not no i would never do that but moments later i present to you a flying house <gasps> it works wait oh, yo oh God, we got the floating house <laughs> call me the old man from up dude look on the timer i spent basically two hours converting a freaking villager house but i've learned from my mistake okay from now on i vow to not waste any more time on pointless acts. Every single step I take is completely necessary and fundamental to my plans. Wait, I forgot about Philbert. Philbert, I'm coming. I like right. how you just stressed about having, like, like, spending two hours on that and how that was, like, a good chunk of your time and yet you're spending all this time getting Philbert back. Philbert's the whole, the heart and soul of this team, man. We're not leaving him <laughs> behind. Come on, Philbert. Come on. You got this. Take the block under him. What? The other one. <laughs> <Bruce> God. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go. We did it. Okay, so I got an idea, right? 
It may sound kind of stupid, but we can technically bring the house underwater. Like we can submerge it just a tad bit. And what I'm thinking is we take the house and just kind of eat up the boat with it. Come on, Philbert, get in. Get in. It worked! <laughs> Let's oh, no. go. We got Filbert. Right. Let's go, Filbert. Ah, I'm stuck. This may sound kind of stupid, but do you think that Filbert like would like complete just yeet out of the house if like I let him? All right, Filbert, this is your new home. Does this guy? Will this guy leave? <gasps> no, no, Filbert. No, 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 no. No, Filbert. Oh, you're gonna have to get him back in. Hold on, we need the boat. God damn it, Filbert. Oh, wait, what? Filbert. Oh, I think, hold on, wait, wait, maybe, maybe we can, like, let him inside. Come on, Filbert, you know what to do. Come inside, Filbert. Pulling up in a van, being like, hey, get inside, Filbert. Hey, kid, you want some candy? <laughs> come on, yeah, 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 you got this. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> wait, 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 moment of truth. Filbert, no. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. No more. Perfect. You did not just put him <laughs> This is yeah, no. He, he wants to be here. Dude, he's spinning around. He loves it. Oh. What? Where did Philbert go? Where is he on the roof? Where is Philbert? Where the heck did he go? Philbert. <laughs> what are you doing? I got carrots. Maybe I could maybe I could like lead him in with like a piece of candy. <laughs> Come yeah, on, baby. you got this. What I believe you. He's Philbert. looking at it. He's tempted. <laughs> <laughs> He's concentrated. The game focuses. He, he, he's <laughs> All right, now we can be done messing around. Now you may be asking, how have I wasted this much time and not gone a cop by Boosfer yet? You see, Boosfer is something called a European. He lives in the future. By accounting for time zones, bedtime for him is early evening for me. So by simply, you know, playing late into the night and sleeping during the day, essentially demolishing my sleep schedule, Boosfer won't even know I'm here. Now this may be incredibly unhealthy, however, like I said, I can't risk getting detected by any means. And the cool thing about this mod is after we build the airship, hypothetically we can actually just hollow out a hole in the same dimensions as the airship in the ground and put the airship in it. And it's barely noticeable. That way when Wreck and Boost were finally meet up to face off, secretly we can be there the entire time and rise out of the ground like a freaking phoenix and catch Boost for by surprise. And I got the perfect prefab in mind, a village. See, villages are so common common and simple in nature that nobody suspects anything of them. However, at the moment, all we got is a basic villager house and I guess Filbert. So it seems we got a lot of building ahead of us. I'm gonna be real, this is actually not looking too bad. I mean, it's actually somewhat believable, but will it fly? Oh my god. We got a flying village, let's go! It only took several hours. You know how I mentioned this was ruining my sleep schedule? Yeah, it's like 3 or 4 in the morning. That That is how long this has taken. Since each additional hour is just another hour that Boosfer can basically be awake for and possibly log on. So ultimately, I, I think this is probably a good checkpoint to stop at for now. Still, there was a lot more to do. And that is what makes me paranoid. The village isn't done, nor is it secured. Boosfer could actually hypothetically just stumble across my village and be like, oh, what? Well, well, What's this? And bam, game over. I am gone. Throughout the day, I spent most of my time monitoring the server activity just to see what Booster was up to. And oh my God, this is stressful. Like every second he's online is just another one that I could possibly be discovered. Please just log off. I hate this. Oh, what was Booster up to? I've been so unwrapped in my own ship that I have no clue what they're doing. I asked the wreck if he knew. Oh yeah, I think Booster is working on some huge weapon. Oh, uh, okay. Oh my God, I forgot about weapons. I've been so distracted by having fun with Villabird and trying to recreate a village block for block that I completely disregard the fact this is an airship battle. Pro pro probably wouldn't be an unwise idea to, you know, get get started on that considering the battle tomorrow. Hey, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do that now. All right, it's been a while since I've played factions, but this is more or less a pretty basic cannon. All you do is you just place a TNT down here and one there. You light these. Oh, wait, I did this wrong. I think this is how you do it. All right, and then you fuse this one, and then bam. Oh my god, look at that distance. Okay, that is pretty good. But the thing is, like, you know, I, I had to do this all manually. And then we also got to account for the fact that we need a cannon that can, like, re-arm. Re because, like, with this, you have to manually come in here and place TNT blocks. 
every single time you want to use it. However, I think I have a possible solution. Now what we do is we grab a dispenser, place it like that upside down. We add a bit of redstone. Then we add a observer facing this way and another one. And then we slap on a piston and then bam. Basically what this does is because there are two observers, they basically go in like an infinite like repeat tick, like basically firing off. Like if I, if I show it right now, what will end up happening is this. And you'll see that this redstone like uh, system would just be like a rapid fire, which is amazing. Imagine like how that would work with TNT. Let, let me let me just try that real quick. And oh my god, look at that rapid fire! What? Meanwhile, like with this one, every single like round, you you gotta keep like pressing fire and like fueling it. it. This is just not effective enough. But this, now this is what we need. You know, thinking about it now, it probably would have just been easier to have done this on the server. Yeah, no, it's an hour later. But we have bombs now, and the last thing we gotta do is just you know bring the ship to spawn and conceal for tomorrow. Then we're then we're done. So uh, I w I was in the process of bringing the village over when I when I stumbled upon something. All right, so. Basically, right, we were just like, we were gonna head back to spawn. Um, to like, you know, because it's getting late, it's like basically 8.30 a.m. like Booster's time right now. But on the way to spawn, you know, we were flying by something. Yeah, Booster's ship. He did not. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, so th this is uh, Booster's ship. Has a random like lava source in the front, which if you like actually collide with it, you take fire damage. And something we noticed, um, it's hard to see from here. There's a little blue block. That's where his steering wheel is. He puts it like half underwater so that even if you were to lava him, the water would negate it. What the heck? He's like going full tryhard. I was trying to make mine look nice. Yeah, no, he has this little technique here. So he has uh, his steering wheel down there. So I think he sits on that. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I've completely underestimated the tryhard energy of this competition. Here I've been goofing off with, the, you know, a whole like f village into a flying machine while Booster was making an indestructible weapon of mass destruction. How does it move? I, I, you, should, you should try flying it. I, so I, I am wanna... not gonna, I'm not come gonna on, fly come it. Come on. Nah, I can't do that. Let the impulses win. Although, should I activate this one time? You gotta know, what does it drop? I mean, oh. It just, it just yeah, drops just one TNT. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I did not think that through. Okay, okay, shoot. We have not been here. Wreck, you saw nothing. All right, so Booster may have a tactical advantage, but we, we still have the one thing going for us. The element of surprise. Surely that still got us a bang. I just gotta hope one thing, that Booster has not, you know, memorized how spawn looks, because if he just like comes over here tomorrow and just notices a random village has spawned, that would be a bit awkward. But anyways, I think this is probably like a pretty solid spot. Wait, what? Hold on, something weird is happening. Wait, I, I don't know what happened, but my, my ship's frozen. I, I can't I can't move it. Bro, now it's just stuck here. What if you like to remove your Oh you're right. So let's see. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Wait, now it just doesn't Okay. Well Oh my god, why does this have to happen now? Ah! What's going on? I don't, I don't understand, man. It was, it was working seconds ago. Like, bruh, I've been at this for a solid few, you know, amount of time, but not, nothing's really working. And it's 4 a.m. Boosters online and Discord. I, I, I can't risk being on anymore. But I, I, I can't leave the ship like this. I swear, if this is how he finds out, I'm gonna be pissed. As the battle grew ever closer, being only a few hours away. I, I tried everything. Was this how it would end? Was two days of grinding about to be wasted because of something out of my control? In sheer disappointment, I joined the Valkyrian Skies Discord to report the bug so that further users wouldn't have to suffer the same fate as I. Then this person immediately responded with a hypothetical solution. Like, I, I don't know if it's a fix, but maybe, maybe there is hope after all? Alright, supposedly all we gotta do is press C and then cruise control. Let's see if we can move. I'm not able to move the ship. Okay, wait, hold on. If I break it, we'll fall to the ground. Okay, it does. Wait, hold up. And if I press this, wait, 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 wait. if I press C again, <gasps> no shot. This was actually the problem. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I, I guess at least we 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 solved the problem. I I I, I, that, I suppose that's good. They're both online. <laughs> See, I know exactly how to fix the airship, but I can't do it with them online. I'm screwed. Up. <laughs> ah! I just realized something. I'm a bit confused. Rackrap said here, I'll add you to the call when you join. So, do I just join? Ah, oh, man. Ah, I hate this. Do I just go in? Let's, okay, you know what? Let's just run for it. Okay, let's see if this works. <gasps> it worked! We fixed it! Rack is messaging me too, too early. He didn't specify 
I'm confused. He said, I'll add you to the call when you join. Bro, are you serious? Hello? Bro, oatmeal man. I am oatmeal man. Bro, what is happening right now? I gotta show you something, Boosfer. Where you at, yeah, boy? Yeah, village that's gonna fly out of the ground? Yeah, no. he saw that. Oh, <laughs> you saw, saw it? Bro, I am so sad. No, you know the terrible thing? The reason why I broke is because I pressed one button. Oh. I spent like an hour trying to fix this. Where are you all at? I just want to fly it over for fun. Wait, is that? What is that wreck wrap? Or is that? That's what we're doing. so wacky, I brought a village. Shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can you stand still? Stand still. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I, I choose Yo, to live. Come back nope, here. I come choose back to live. Here. Wait, wait, I got an idea. I'm activating the munitions. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Is this TNT? Wait, he wasn't supposed to be a bystander right now. Wait, why is there a villager with a boat on it? Oh, that's Filbert. Do not kill Filbert. It's Filbert. It's Filbert. Do not kill Filbert. I swear. What is this? Now you can kill me, but the no, do not kill Filbert. I swear to God, Boosfer. I'm killing Filbert. You're not killing Filbert. No, Filbert. I'm going to higher grounds. Right, I think you gotta take Boosfer by yourself. I'm getting out of here. Man, I am so pissy. Saw the village. The actual plan was to sink this into the ground. I'm so sad, bro. Alas, although the prank didn't go according to plan, and I didn't necessarily surprise Boosfer, <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm gonna be real chatting with the wreck and Boosfer afterwards. It was evident both had focused too much on destroying one another that they abandoned all sense of fun and reason. Apparently, Boosfer had spent like 90% of the time listening to podcasts while mining him sitting in the end to be invincible, which is cool and all, but really thinking about it, was it really as fun as holding your roommate hostage and building a whole village block for block just for the lulz? I thought not. And so with the battle over, it was time for me to finally depart from this world. But first, I had to make sure Filbert got the perfect ending. He's deserved. Well, Filbert, you've been my hostage for so long. I think it's finally time to, uh, set you free oh god it's time to take you home filbert let's go all right filbert you're safe now come on get inside all right filbert oh all right already getting to business you know what i am gonna let y'all like do your thing filbert it's been a pleasure y y have a good life i'm gonna miss that man as i look upon my works although I suppose it was somewhat of a failure in the end i can't help but feel a bit happy about you know the journey we've had the journey with filbert the journey with Wreck and Boosfer, it's been fun. But man, if only I could have hid the freaking airship, man, it would have been so cool.